Andy Hilton with Recruit757.com here at Todd Stadium where Denby has experienced a tough, heartbreaking loss by a score of 32 to 29. Coach, uh, defense really played a hand in it at the end. You guys were steady. You uh, pursued throughout, had it within uh, striking distance twice within the last couple of minutes of the game. Explain uh, what was going on with with the last couple of minutes there. Uh, I mean, these guys, I mean, after getting, giving up so many big plays to a team that uh, wins a lot of games off of big plays, and those guys, our guys knuckled down, they showed their pride within themselves. Uh, I couldn't be any happier for them, even though the results were, were what we didn't want to have. Um, but those guys just decided, made a conscious effort that they were going to win this football game. And, uh, came up a little short, but I couldn't be more proud of the effort they did. Yeah, the passing game was big for Heritage throughout, yet in the second half it looked like you found a way to uh, stop that pass and it made a few key interceptions. Uh, what was the game plan change uh, coming out of the locker room at halftime? Well, to be honest, we didn't change too much. We just needed to get more pressure on, the, on those guys back there throwing the football. Uh, we didn't get much at all the first half. The O-line was doing a, a good job beating us up a little bit up front. Uh, but those guys just came out and they just, they just kept pushing. They got a little pressure on us, on the quarterbacks. They they threw some 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 uh, passes that got away from them, and we were in position to make plays. And, and that's what our guys been doing all year long. You know, I hate those scenes have to go out like that, but they go out with a lot of pride in what they did this year. And with the last touchdown you scored, you went for two and got it to pull within three points. On the last two drives that you had, where you were. You were edging into field goal range. Were you thinking field goal or were you thinking score? Uh, we, were trying to, we were trying to get in position for our kicker. I mean, he's been kicking pretty well for us this year. Uh, it's just penalties. I mean, I don't know how many penalties we got this game, but those penalties hurt us, pushed us back on those two drives. And like we always tell the kids, those penalties can kill a drive. But those guys persevered, got us in the position, and we just didn't, didn't execute in a two-minute drill. Well, Coach, it's a little early to start talking about next year, but you've had a heck of a season. It's a heck of a uh, progression for Denby football. Uh, is there anything um, about this team in terms of the junior and sophomore leadership that's come together this season that gives you some uh, hope for the 2014 season? Uh, yeah, I mean, th those seniors, like I said, they laid a foundation for uh, what it takes to be successful, the hard work they put in. Uh, we got those guys that are going to be coming up, Malik Sparks, uh, DeMarco Brown, uh, Ethan Claren, guys up front. Um, and we're excited about what they can bring to the table next year. Fantastic, and we certainly look forward to seeing more Denby football in 2014. Coach Harris, thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Again, Andy Hilton with Coach Marcellus Harris of Denby at Todd Stadium after a tough Denby loss by a score of 32-29. to 29.